Hi, my name is Elias Logan. I'm a dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com. And for adding myself, I provide with a certificate of authenticity. My signature, of course, uh, I've identified over 28,000 items, so every item you get has a lifetime guarantee of authenticity. This coin specifically is a, is a silver Roman coin of Augustus, as an example. It's uh, beautiful, beautifully protected in a flip that you could take off with a short description of the professional description that's done over here that cites many times a major reference or collection. And on the back you get the historical context of the item you purchased. So even if you're brand new to this collecting field, you can make a great gift for somebody else or I believe this to be a really great in investment. Today I'm going to be uh, talking about Quintilus, the Roman Emperor after Claudius II. Quintilus looked like this. That's his portrait from a coin. That's Quintilus. Now for his biography. Quintilus, commonly known as Quintilus, was Roman emperor for less than a year in 270 AD. Quintilus was born at Sirmium in Illyricum. Originally coming from a low-born family, Quintilus came to prominence with the accession of his brother Claudius II Gothicus to, be imperial, to the imperial throne in 268 AD. He had possibly been made procurator, procurator of Sardinia during his brother's reign. And upon the death of his brother in 270, he was elected by soldiers of the Roman army. The choice was approved by the Senate, but uh, the legions which had followed Claudius in campaigning along the Danube were either unaware or disapproving of Quintilus' elevation. They instead elevated their current leader Aurelian as emperor. The length of his reign varies, variously reported to have lasted a few, as few as 70 days and as many as 177 days, about 6 months. Records disagree on the cause of his death. Historia Augusta reports him murdered by his own soldiers in reaction to his strict military discipline. Jerome reports him killed, presumably in conflict with Aurelian. John of Antioch re reported Quintilus to have committed suicide by opening his veins and bleeding himself to death. All records have show have however agreed in placing the death at Aquileia. Quintilus was reportedly survived by his two sons. Claudius and Quintilus having another, another brother called Crispus and through him niece Claudia who reportedly married Eutropius and was mother to Constantius Chlorus. Surviving Roman records considered Quintilus a moderate and capable emperor. He was seen as a champion of the Senate and thus compared to previous emperors Galba and Pertinax. All three are, were highly regarded by senatorial sources despite their failure to survive a full year of rain. Thank you very much for visiting my website, trustedcoins.com, for authentic ancient coins and artifacts. Thank you.